Hello darlings and welcome back to Royal Appleberry. Um, today I am doing a custom order soap and um, this is going to be a two day process because I'm going to do embeds and um, I'm going to make them out of CP soap. Normally I make them out of melt and pour but I decided this time because I'm going to do a, I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of carving on uh, the actual CP um, light bulb. So yeah my embed is going to be a light bulb and this is Autism Speak Soap. Um, I'm doing this for my darling Tiffany and Skylar. Um, I did a soap for them before and I'm going to be making another one. So I'm going to make this first. It's going to be very simple. I'm just going to pour it in a cookie sheet and then I'm going to let it cure, uh, well, overnight. Yeah, hopefully I can get out the mold today because the fragrance, that, okay, the fragrance blend that I'm going to use is mangoes, papayas, and apple. And the apple that I have does accelerate, which is exactly what I want it to do because I would like to be able to cut these out tonight and then start prepping them for my soap tomorrow. Or if I'm lucky, I'll be able to make the whole soap tonight. so it is a couple of days later <laughs> um, and with my light bulbs they set up extremely fast I was able to cut them out that night some of them are a little bit crumbly which is fine this is all my light bulbs that I did they don't have to be perfect just because they're going to be cut again you know when I slice my soap they smell fantastic though so I just really hope like the rough edges don't really make a difference um so yeah so I'm going to go ahead and get my so better I think this one I'm not gonna use I got a few extras but uh yeah I like my soap better I'm going to um, go ahead and mix that this smells so good go ahead and mix that up and I'm going to be using some melt and pour um, as well as a filler and then I have some puzzle pieces that are going to go on the top. So, let me get that all mixed. And I'll bring you guys back. Actually, I thought I'd just bring you guys back while I'm doing this part. Um, because this is just going to be one solid color. And my live water is really cool down here. So, my live water has kind of gotten a little crusty layer over the top. Um... Yeah, I was really about to make a mess. That's the wrong eye water. <laughs> this is what I have left. <laughs> that was for a whole nother batch. Not good. So, I'm not... No, I am. I was not going to put any additives in here since it's just so very little. But why not? Let's make this just as luxurious as any other soap. Just hopefully. I don't put too much merch so I have been like really just kind of fretting over the soap because this is a very special soap um, and I just want it to be perfect and I know she'll be happy with anything that I do but I'm just a perfectionist like that you know especially for a good cause I definitely want it to be the best that I can possibly make it so that's why I've been kind of fretting over this soap so much. Okay, where's the stick blender? Let's probably close that blue. And this fragrance is so juicy. Mm, 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 mm. I just love it. <laughs> I gotta do this blend again and again and again. <laughs> mixing this with my hand 
um, just because I need for this to stay pretty fluid. And I'm going to put a little bit of TD in here just because I want to lighten it up so it doesn't end up green. Because whenever you have a yellow oil and then you mix blue with it, it turns green. And that's not what we want. Um, the color I'm using is Almost Ice uh, Mica from Rustic Essential, which is one of my faves. I love that color. Because when you mix it with white, it comes out a really, oh, this is starting to thicken up. It comes out a really cool blue like that. Look at that. So now I'm going to pour just a wee bit of my blue in here. Just a little. And then I'm going to add a little bit of my melting pork. Not too much. Oh, I'm going to pour it all over the table. What are you doing, Kenny? Okay. <laughs> so, this soap is racing a bit, which is odd because none of the rest, well, I guess the rest of it didn't have time to rice because it's set up so quickly. So, but I'm not concerned about that because I can just um, stick with that out. My main concern is... Um, enough to cover the top so I'm gonna grab all my light bulbs and I hope that it pours smooth enough where you know you know kind of fill in all the crevices so go ahead and stick that like that So some of these have kind of rough edges, but it's okay. And I hope that it's not sticking out the bottom. Because I didn't want it to stick out the bottom. And I'll line these up once I get them all in here. So I think this is by far the most technically challenging soap that I've had to make. <laughs> but like I said, it's okay because it is for a very good cause. I really wish that I can get one more down in there, but I don't have one thin enough because I would like for it to be like a very tight fit. Can I do that? Like causing some type of disruption. <laughs> yeah, I think I better stop. But I need to put, you know what, I am going to stick this here in a second. Just because, you know, I love it when my um, batter rices and then it loosens back up. I don't know what's caused it with the fragrance, what causes the fragrance to do that, but trust, I appreciate it. <laughs> So I might even just let this sit for a little bit so it can get like that watery layer and then I can blend it all back together. Actually, I don't think I need to because it's kind of coming back together pretty nicely already. So I think that now what do I want to do? I almost want to pour like a melt and pour layer 
over the top of this soap, but I don't know if that's a great idea. I'm actually going to pour this on the side. Kenny, you just really want to make a mess, don't you? <laughs> just really trying to add that to have a bit of a buffer. So, stop leaning to one side. But you know what, if they're not all completely straight, that's absolutely fine. And I am going to stick this piece back down in here. Because I really need for these soaps to be tightly pushed together. And um, I don't mind this sticking up. Matter of fact, I'm going to break a little piece off. Let's stick it down in here. Nope, I actually got some scraps. And I'm going to stick down in the corner. Just because, like I said, I want these soaps to be tightly pushed together. So I think this hunk right here will do just fine. And, no, that's too big. I'm going to, um, it's going to get cut off anyway. Alright, now I'm going to pour some more melt and pour. And then, quickly, pour this before it solidifies. See, this is why I wish that it wasn't rice, because I need to get this in here before this melt and pour settles too much. And then, I have some... Um, Melt the pour pieces I want to put on top. Let me smack this down again. And now that I think about it, I wish I would have used my cornflower blue instead of this blue. Because this, I don't know, the fragrance or whatever is making it look more teal. And I even put more blue in it. But Not much I could do about that right now. Kind of get that to go over. So now, what I am going to do is stick my puzzle pieces on top. And I'm just going to put one on here just to see how well it. Okay. And I have this idea to interlock them but of course that's not going to happen so I think I want to just put them like this just because let me take off this glove just because I think it'll look nicer when I cut it and this is for Autism Speaks um, so the colors were blue and white and that's why I didn't put the primary color puzzle pieces on the top of this one and let me clean this up so it'll look a lot nicer. I just really hope that I get some clean cuts because I'm going to do something else to the light bulbs once I've cut the soap. So, um, I guess you guys have to stick around and see what that's going to be. But I do hope that you like the soap. Um, I think it's really cute. So, stick around. Um, the cutting will be right after this. Alright, so I'm going to be honest and tell you that this is a week later. <laughs> Um, the reason why I didn't mold it right then and there because as you guys know melt and pour tends to sweat and it's been high humidity in my soaping studio so I did get some moisture beads um, here so I kind of set it in front of my dehumidifier and it kind of took care of that so now I just need to rub it down and the little beads like the little bumps will go away you guys did not see I did add some mica swirl on top because it was just a little too plain for my liking so um let's cut into this puppy and see what we got hopefully it cuts well that would be just great um it smells fantastic absolutely but um we will see as soon as i get finished moving this stuff around so hopefully i can cut this little sliver off nicely and it won't be too crazy hard to cut because it's been sitting 
that that light bulb is so perfect <laughs> i love it oh i do love it that is so nice wow i'm very pleased with that hopefully they all turn out like that but this is super duper i'm i'm impressed and you know what guys honestly i forgot i put the light bulbs in there because it's been a week oh wow what a pleasant surprise so and i think i told you guys that i had plans um uh, i don't need any wonky cuts yeah i got my first wonky cut but um that's okay yeah i have plans to do something else to the light bulb so um that's going to be attached to this video as well but how cute that's really cute that cut is terrible though that turned out super nice i love that yes if i could just keep uh cutting straight that would be even nicer <laughs> trying to think you know what? i'm just going to turn it around and start from the other end because uh, i don't want two bars with some craptastic cuts on them and hopefully i can just keep this oh yeah that's a big hunk of melting pour there oh my gosh these are cutting terrible just because of the melt and pour probably let it sit a little too long but we're gonna do another cut on that one because it's pretty bad should I turn it around again <laughs> yeah that's the only thing with melt and pour when you put it in CP soap um, the cuts can come out a bit crazy I'll just fix that one so I'm gonna go ahead and do it just like I was doing yeah just kind of keep the arm a little steady so it doesn't rock off to the side like it did very very cute I do like that and I don't know why these bars look so short <laughs> they're not they're the same height as all the rest of my bars these look very tiny probably because it's flat top but yeah so very pleased with the way this turned out I am and I hope that Tiffany will be as well but it smells fantastic it really really does it smells super duper nice it does this is where things get hairy okay I'm gonna go slow there we go so I can get some nice straight cuts which uh that one yeah that's pretty good that's just my bulb and I did keep a little bit extra of the white to fill in the ones that got kind of crazy which is fine so yeah I'm gonna fill those in and like I said I got an idea I'm gonna have to think about it for a second before I tell you what it is to see if I can even um, accomplish it I'm not gonna do it on camera because it would just take far too long but um, I will bring you guys back and let you see the end product Oh, that one's not so nice I think uh, too much of the blue or this is probably right where the bulbs kind of connected together and some blue got in there but that's okay all I gotta do is uh, give it a little bit of a uh, planing and that should take care of it I kind of expected some of them you know I really wasn't expecting all of them come out perfect I hope most of them do that way that's less work I have to do on them but these I like the way these turned out though like that one is really nice very very nice I okay so stay tuned guys um, I'm gonna bring you back when I fill in the ones that needs to be filled in and then do the next step see you in a second okay I want to bring you guys back so I can show you what I did to these soaps um, okay I'm gonna show you my idea my original idea hopefully you can see that so she wanted to well in the beginning she said <laughs> I'm like what's the, what is that talking that's my phone once again but anyway um she said you probably can't put the puzzle piece on side of the light bulb so I made a little stencil I just had it <laughs> okay 
yeah I made this little stencil I printed it out and then cut it out and it was uh, for the autism light bulb with the puzzle piece on the inside so now it has like the little puzzle piece outline and the puzzle piece on top and this was my original idea right here I put some mica in there but I don't love the way it looks so I just decided to leave them just like this so there you go and that's what I did to all of them I hope you guys like it I hope they like it just as much as I do and I am again honored and thank you for always choosing me to make these wonderful soaps for Skylar all right guys until the next so making video. I'll see you over there. Bye.